Ever paused for a minute while using your everyday bath soap and wondered how it's made? Well, you're not alone. There's a whole intricate process behind that fragrant bar that keeps you clean day in, day out. From the selection of raw materials to the final packaging, it's a journey of transformation. The industrial process of soap making is a blend of science, technology, and a dash of magic. So, are you ready to discover the secrets behind your daily suds? Stay with us as we dive into the fascinating world of soap making. First things first, what goes into your soap? Well, the backbone of any soap is a blend of fats or oils. These could be derived from animals like beef tallow or from plants like coconut or olive oil. They give your soap its moisturizing properties and help it produce that luscious lather. Next up we have lye, also known as sodium hydroxide. Don't let the harsh name scare you. It's crucial in soap making as it kickstarts the saponification process, transforming those fats and oils into soap. Water is another key player, acting as a conduit for the lye and helping to disperse it evenly throughout the soap. And lastly, we have a plethora of possible additives. Think of these like the cherry on top. They could be essential oils for fragrance, herbs for exfoliation, or even colorants to make your soap visually appealing. Now that we know what goes into our soap, let's move on to the soap making process. The magic begins with a process called saponification. Now, saponification might sound like a spell from a wizard's book, but it's really the heart of soap making. It's where oils or fats meet lye and water, and like the best love stories, they transform into something entirely new. Our beloved soap. Picture a grand dance. The fats or oils which are basically the star of the show, are made up of molecules that are eager to break free. Each molecule is a little like a pin, with a glycerin head and three fatty acid tails. Lye, on the other hand, is the perfect dance partner. It's a strong, alkaline solution that's ready to tango. When these two meet, it's a chemical reaction like no other. The lye starts to break down the fats or oils, setting those fatty acid tails free. This is where precise measurements and controlled temperatures come into play. Too much heat and our dance turns into a frenzy, too little and it's a slow waltz going nowhere. The perfect balance ensures a smooth and successful dance. If you are enjoying the video so far, please like and subscribe, we'll really appreciate it. Now, each free fatty acid tail quickly hooks up with a component of the lye, forming a molecule of soap. Meanwhile, the glycerin heads are left to their own devices, but don't worry, they're not wallflowers. They become part of the soap too, giving it its moisturizing properties. This whole process of fats or oils breaking down and recombining with lye is what we call saponification. It's a dance of molecules, a whirl of transformation, and at the end of it we have soap. But not just any soap. Soap that's been crafted with precision, where every molecule has been accounted for, every temperature monitored. And just like that, we're halfway through the soap making process. The next stage is molding and cutting, but that's a tale for another scene. After saponification, we're halfway through to getting our finished soap. But remember, the magic of soap making isn't just in the science, it's in the artistry, the precision, and the passion that goes into every single bar. Once the soap mixture is ready, it's time for molding and cutting. Now imagine a baker pouring batter into a cake pan. In a similar vein, the soap mixture, which is now a thick, creamy substance, is poured into large rectangular molds. These molds are specially designed to withstand the heat and weight of the soap mixture, ensuring that the soap retains its shape as it cools and hardens. Once the soap mixture is inside the molds, patience becomes a virtue. The soap needs to cool down and harden, a process that can take anywhere from a few hours to a couple of days depending on the size of the mold and the composition of the soap. During this time the soap undergoes a transformation, hardening into a solid block that's ready for the next step. Picture if you will, an artist with a chisel, carving a sculpture from a block of marble. Now, replace the artist with a precision cutting machine and the marble with our hardened block of soap. The cutting machine slices through the soap, dividing it into individual bars. These bars, while identical in size and shape, each have their own unique pattern and design, a result of the swirling and blending of the soap mixture during the saponification process. With the soap molded and cut into bars, there's just one more step left. Finally, our soap bars need to cure and then they're ready for packaging. We've come a long way and the soap bars have too, but before they're ready to meet your bathroom, they need a little rest. This is called the curing process. In the curing process, soap bars are left to dry for several weeks. It's not just about drying though, this period allows any remaining water to evaporate, resulting in a harder, longer-lasting bar. 
More importantly, it ensures that the soap is gentle on your skin. It's a bit like aging a good wine. The longer it sits, the better it gets. Now, on to packaging. Once cured, the soap bars are wrapped and prepared for distribution. This is where they get their final touch, the wrapper that keeps them clean and fresh until they reach your hands. Each bar is carefully packaged to ensure it arrives in perfect condition. And there you have it, the journey of your bath soap from factory to your bathroom. So the next time you lather up, remember the fascinating process your soap has been through. From simple raw materials, through the chemical marvel of saponification, to the precision of the molding and cutting, and finally, the patient curing and careful packaging. This journey is a testament to the science and precision involved in creating something as everyday as bath soap. Remember, every bar of soap you use has a story to tell, a journey from raw ingredients to the product that keeps you clean and fresh. Please like and subscribe,